Aquarius, here's the raw truth, right? Um, some of you guys are in a relationship that is unconventional. Some of you are in a relationship where you are part of the LBGTQ community. Some of you are in a relationship where it's interracial. Um, some of you are in a relationship where there's an age gap. Some of you are in relationships with people that, let's just say most people wouldn't deem the norm, okay? And the reason for this is there's a spiritual lesson behind this relationship. Spirit is trying to teach you about unconditional love, okay? There is something about this relationship that's taboo, that I'm hearing forbidden for some of you. Um, it, it, this relationship, and the thing is, you may feel stuck, right? You may feel stuck. And the thing is, the reason why you feel stuck is only because you're unsure of where this is going and what and why you're in it in the first place. And again, like I said, you are going to learn a lot about yourself, a lot about someone else, and about unconditional love. Because that's what God is. That is what Yahweh is. That is what Yeshua is. That is what the Most High is. That is what... And everybody wants to talk about... Um, love and forgiveness and love and light until it's actual time to love someone with no conditions if spirit can forgive you if god yahweh can forgive you after all the bs that you done been through why can't you forgive people why can't you see people pass their 211 on the time i say this past their flaws you know and maybe you come from judgment and you were raised in judgment two 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 on the time as i say that and you've been judging all your past lovers and here comes this one particular person that has you questioning things and it's due to you asking spirit to understand what unconditional love is and you're experiencing it um, and this is going to empower you, whether you believe it or not. This is something, this is something that's going to, what you put in is what you're going to receive. And if you put out unconditional love, you're going to receive unconditional love. And unconditional love has no conditions to it. Okay. With that said, let's see what you need to be self-aware of. Okay. And this doesn't have to be in love. This could literally just be uh, with yourself as well, okay? You could be out here dating yourself and people see that as unconventional, right? But you have to have the courage to, to do this. Three, three, three on the timer, right? You have to have the courage to say, okay, this is what spirit wants me to experience at the moment in time. And if it lasts forever, it does. If it doesn't, it, it's okay. 9-11 on the time as I say this. And, but I feel like this is going to bring you balance and complete, you're going to feel complete, even with the judgment. And I feel like by you living your truth is going to empower other people to live their truth, okay? But let's see what you need to be self-aware of. What does Aquarius need to be self-aware of? Be self-aware of what you're entertaining, okay? And what you're not entertaining. Are you entertaining what these naysayers say or are you entertaining your heart? Because for a lot of you guys, you manifested unconditional love and it's everything but what you thought it was. Like, <laughs> yeah, this relationship, you, you, when you put your, your letter into spirit, the list that you asked for when you asked for a partner, <laughs> for, for, for this time, you, you had certain things, but when they appeared, it wasn't what you thought. You thought it was going to be a man. It, it ended up being a woman. You thought it was going to be someone of your same race. And it's someone that's 
not the same race as you. You you thought it was going to be someone that was in the same religion as you? Mm -mm. They're totally different. Like, they are the total opposite. All the characteristic traits, all, all the, the, who their character is, oh, yeah, they're that. They're that. Trust and believe, they are that. But appearance-wise, uh, belief-wise, Spirit said, oh, we're going to teach you what unconditional love is, baby. For some of you, this person can be just very stable, very grounded, very loving. Something that you're not used to. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, all right? Some of y'all are like, ding, 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 okay? It, it, it's hitting you, right? Oh, yeah, it, it's hitting you. You're realizing that, right? Like, this person is everything that you asked for. You thought about that, right? But you didn't think... It's five by five, five the times I say that the spirit, the spirit gave you a surprise. Okay, for some of you, you thought you were going back in a karmic cycle. Okay, you thought you was you was dating the wrong person. Okay, you thought you was you you was, and it, your inner child is like screaming for the unconditional love that it's always wanted and needed. In the family dynamic that you didn't get you didn't receive it in your family dynamic and it, the unconditional love the acceptance someone seeing you seeing you like you someone that understands you that gets you is actually getting you so be aware of the thoughts that you're entertaining at this time don't allow yourself to block your blessings okay uh experience this experience because spirit wants you to experience it no one says that it's gonna last forever but it could but you wanted to you wanted to feel unconditional love unconditional love has no conditions and i keep hearing that now let's look at finances really quickly finances you're on your a game or you're getting there okay you are in your divine feminine energy where you are allowing things to come to you 7 11 on the time where you're allowing yourself to receive okay you're receiving the offers the job offers you're receiving um the money that people want to gift you, you're you're receiving, okay? And you're allowing yourself to receive and you're telling yourself you are worthy. You're deserving of it. For a long time, you felt like you weren't worthy of this, but now you're changing your ways, you're changing your thought process and you are receiving, okay? And you're allowing yourself to receive. Even this lover of yours probably gifts you things and takes you out and treats you nice. And it's like you, you weren't used to those things, you know? And you're, you're getting them, okay? And it's all because you, you've you changed, okay? You've changed. You started a new beginning. You've completed cycles. And this is why you are receiving because you told yourself it's okay to receive. And guess what? You're receiving unconditional love. 808 on the time as I say that. Okay? Let's look at um, your love life. Healing. This is a healing relationship. This relationship is healing it's stable whether this is you single or with someone okay whether this is you healing and you loving yourself bringing in more stability and security but this is change necessary change okay and i feel like some of the people that you're dealing with are triggering you to heal in ways that you never thought heal the thing the deception that you've always carried within you this this person could be a capricorn um this is just energy of you probably wanting to or wanting to heal a relationship with a Capricorn as well. For others of you, you want to bring more stability and security into your life. And it's like this person is showing you your shadow self. All the things like you may not have been the type to communicate your emotions and your feelings. And this person is very communicative. This person loves to speak about their feelings and their emotions, and it may overwhelm the shit out of you, but you're like, okay, well, yeah, I'm hearing Chiron. Maybe this person, they, there's some an aspect with your Chiron or their Chiron, and it's like, this is, this is, you're going to learn this lesson, okay? This could be a lesson and a blessing for you in disguise, but either way, yeah, this person is your divine masculine. He's very emotional, and you know, Aquarius is we are not very emotional people, Okay, we're very logical, but this person is going to, you You look at it as a bad thing that this person is very open about how they feel and it's actually a good thing and it scares the living crap out of you and it's okay. 